Hello everyone, this is me Mike and today we're going to install our Blossom Smart Watering Station. Uh, in the previous video we removed our old Orbit one and uh, we are left with this screw where the old one was mounted. I'm going to plan on reusing the exact same screw so I'm not going to change anything, drill any other holes. You can see there's some holes have been drilled here, here and here. Uh, so there might have been a couple of uh, watering stations been mounted here but I have my back plate of the Blossom watering station right here. And um, on the back side there's a hole that fills quite nicely into, it mounts quite nicely into the one that we have left here. So, ta-da! We're done for this video. Nope, not exactly. Um, we're also going to mount not only the back plate, but we're also going to hook up all the cables uh, that have been labeled in this video before. Um, so again, I'm going to fast forward to the part where all of these wires are already mounted. I think we're good to go. We'll just align this cable a little bit to the right uh, because there is this uh, sparring right here that the cable can go out of once we put the front plate uh, on. And I got it right here. And there's the power wire. And I'm gonna untangle the power rail real quick. All right. I removed all the tightness from this cable. And now we're good to set the, back, uh, the front plate back onto the back plate. Uh, this just goes, make sure this guy is not in the way. And this guy's tangled up in my hose, so this we go. Just put it up on top. And there we go. All done. That should be it. Oh, wait, no, we missed one step. Still, we have this guy, uh, so I need to put the power back in. And as you can see, it's lighting up orange. I think we're good to go. Uh, next up in the video will be how to configure the Blossom Smart watering station on your phone. But well, we're gonna go back inside for that. Ooh, nice green. I guess I'll see you later, guys. Bye.